Okay, so we'll just have a look at how to install Derive. So I'm on the ICT page on Moodle. Here's the link here. So I can open this now. Okay, should open now. And the file's open now. It's a zip file. So some people may need to save the file and then unzip it but um, since most people watching this will be using Windows and I'm using Windows now you should just be able to click open and it'll be done automatically for you so here's the folder I go inside and inside the folder you see there's a file called Derive 6.1 Trial Setup. And it's an application file, so that's the one we need. And I can open that. And pick Extract All. Okay, so Windows wanted the file to be unzipped or extracted before installing. And you notice as I extracted it, it did so to the Documents folder. So if I go into Documents, I can see it in there now. Okay, let's try this again. Yes. And here I just pick next. Just put your name in there. Yes. Put a shortcut on the desktop. And continue next and next. Let's install in now. And finish. We'll cancel the restart for the moment. Now, also in the folder here, we should go in here and I'll take this file and copy. Now, I'll go to my computer. Local C, Programs, and down here, TI Education, Derive 6, and I'll paste the file here, copy and replace, continue. Okay, let me minimize here. Now, the computer needs a restart, so this might not work, but I'll try. So I'm back on the desktop now. Let's see if it runs. And it does. Here is the Derive 6 program. Now sometimes, for some people, the program won't run, 
So if you right click and go into properties, you may need to go to compatibility and run this program as uh, Windows XP. And also uh, run as administrator. Although I'm not so sure about this if it's required, um, it helps for some people. So if I try again. And there we go.